Thanks a lot, Jenna. We're at Fort White Alive's Adventure Center and joined by the folks from Wilderness Supply. And we're talking right now about some luxury cooking because Buffy, I find that when you go camping, there's a lot of like, let's boil some water and throw in some oatmeal or boil some water, throw in some pasta or boil some water and throw in some, it's the same stuff over and over again. But you've got a fun breakfast plan for us that we can make next time we go camping. You bet. We do sort of tend to stick to the standards when we're doing camp cooking, and there's a time and a place for that. But if you have the ability to bring a few more things with you, you can eat really well while you're out camping, which is fun. And what I like about your recipe here is this is a no mess recipe. We don't have to clean the pot when we're done. Makes it really easy around the campsite. So one of my favorite ways to cook, we're going to do a scrambler this way this morning, is by bag boiling. Bag boiling. Okay, what do we need to do to uh, make this scrambler happen? Well, we're going to, first of all, when we're at home, we're going to pre-prep this one by getting little plastic bags Ooh. and filling them with all the ingredients we need. Makes it really easy at the campsite because you don't have to bring everything with you. Okay. So we're going to open up this bag here. I'm going to dump in two eggs. All right, this is the most important part. Don't spill when transferring these into the bag. There we go, we managed that bag. just fine. Okay. And then we're going to put in anything we think might be tasty with them. So we're going to put in a little bit of farmer's sausage here. Oh yeah. Maybe a little bit of salsa. Okay, good. Always a little bit good. Good. And definitely always a nice handful of cheese because that helps the whole thing stick together. Great. Now, um, what's really good about your recipe is, let's say there's a, a picky eater in the crowd who doesn't want onions, you could write that person's name on this bag so then he won't have to eat onions with his breakfast, but other people can. Everybody can make their own recipe. So we're gonna close this up, get a little bit of the air out of there. Okay. And if you've made different recipes at home, you wanna keep it clear, we're gonna write whose scrambler this is right on the front so we don't Perfect. get confused in the morning. Now, do I shake this up? Shake that one up there, make sure you break up the eggs and get everything all together. <laughs> this is a fun part. You can let the kids do this or the uh, young at heart because <laughs> this is a, uh, a good step. Now, we've already had our, our campfire going for a while, so you want to get the water boiling, correct? So make sure we get the water all ready and going already, and then we're going to just toss the bag as it is directly into our pot of boiling water. And it won't, uh, won't melt the bag or anything? Won't melt the bag as long as you throw the whole thing in there. Don't be tempted to keep the edge of the bag on the side of the pot, because that would melt Ooh, the bag. Gotcha. Okay, good luck, Drew. So we're going to close that up, and we're going to cook it for about 13 or 14 minutes. Okay. You can usually see pretty clearly when it stopped being squidgy. Good stuff. Now, through the magic of television and campfire prowess, we have the finished version of our scrambler, which looks absolutely delicious. And we've also got our side of hash browns, which, um, let me do a, a hash huh? Really good, Buffy. Pretty good. How do I create these? Because we've already cooked in a bag, but let's say I don't want to cook in a bag anymore. If we want to do something that's maybe a little more grill so focused there, but we still don't want to have a whole lot of pots to clean, aluminum foil is your best friend over the campfire. Okay, so do you have to do anything special to these potatoes to get them to cook well? Not at all. So I've cut up the potatoes. I've put a little bit of butter on, just because I like the taste of butter on my hash browns. Not even necessary if you don't want it. And I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning salt on them just to give them a little bit of flavor there. Great. And then what's key as far as cooking these go to make sure that we uh, get them cooked without um, overcooking them? Uh, it's a little a bit of play back and forth here, but around the campfire you get a little bit of black bits on the edges, not a big deal. So you can always leave it on there a little bit longer. Well, the black is okay. I mean, we're roughing it. Absolutely. Clearly. We've got to get, get a little charcoal on the hash browns. All right, well, thanks so much, Buffy. Uh, Courtney, are you eating this good in studio today? I don't think so. Definitely not. Apparently you have to go camping to eat that well. Well, you got to go camping, but you got to have the right tools for the job. So grab a firebox, grab the right ingredients and uh, a really important thing to remember is with most provincial campgrounds you can't scrounge for your own wood so make sure to bring your own firewood oh. or buy some at the campground otherwise you won't be able to enjoy a nice breakfast like we are today okay that's a good tip and who knew i would assume that the bag would melt see but yeah that's what i thought too but as you can see here the bag stays a-okay and then no cleanup mess afterwards so a really great idea for the next time you go camping to really enjoy the experience. Ah, try it at home and save yourself some dishes too. <laughs> All right, and bring your own spork. Spork, yeah, double-ended. Two tools, All right, I'm, one. I'm gonna finish my breakfast and I'll catch up with you later, okay? Okay, thanks Drew. See you in a bit. Bye. Well, the Manitoba Marathon was, of course, yesterday, and if it got you feeling inspired and maybe you want to attempt to run next year, coming up, the running room joins us with everything you need to know about how you can be one of them one year from now. Stay with us.